My Model Railroad models the modern era, and you don't see a ton of cabooses in modern railroads. So how do I use a caboose on my Model Railroad? Well, I'm going to show you how I do that in today's op session. In terms of car types, cabooses are a favorite for a lot of people, and for good reason. They've been around a long time, there's a lot of different variety, and they just kind of look cool, and they're kind of a staple of railroading throughout the years. But Modern era railroads just don't use cabooses like they were used in the past, but you can still see them in several places, including on local trains and switchers and things like that. And I've actually seen that in person, and I wanted to model that in this op session. So let's go ahead and get started. We start the op where our trusty 7138 is prepping a few cars to be picked up by a mixed freight that is inbound. That train, led by NS3675, pulls into the yard and disconnects from its drop-offs. Seven one three eight then uses the cars it has pulled out for the train as a handle to pull the drop-offs out and put them in the yard, then places the pickups in position to be coupled back up. Then the train backs up, connects, and heads out. Next, it's time for the local. This time, we're going to pull all the cars out for both areas, then use NS8888 to run the local. After we've hooked up, 7138 pulls the caboose off the maintenance of way train and positions it for hookup. Now, modern trains do not use cabooses for their original purposes. If you see a caboose today, it's usually due to a train having to do a long shove and the crew needing a platform to spot and guide the locomotive, which would be at the back of the train on a shove. This is what we're doing today. The train heads to West Valley for its single pickup and drop off at the cement distributor. Next, it's time for the long shove down to East Valley. This is where the caboose would be used by the crew, and you can see it's positioned on the opposite end of the train. When the train gets back down the mountain and reaches the runaround track, the locomotive disconnects and repositions for switching at East Valley.
at East Valley, the train disconnects from the first pickup and switches out the chemical plant first. then deposits the pickups. Next, the train grabs the pickup from the distributor then moves the caboose and delivers the two box cars to the distributor. Next, the caboose is placed on the siding so that it can be positioned for the long shove back to the yard. Once the caboose is picked up, we can head back to the yard with the pickups. So there you go, there's running a caboose on a modern model railroad. Hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to hear how you run a caboose on your model railroad when you do op sessions. Leave that in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading.